Hi guys and welcome to What If Tutorials, my name is Eddie and today I'm going to show you how to play a video in the free version of Unity. By the way, if you haven't watched our funny video on indie game developers, there's a link here somewhere. You should watch it, it's really funny. So, let's start with a tutorial. What If Tutorials Alright, so in the in the pro version of Unity, it's extremely easy to play a video, but inside of um, but inside of the free version, it's a bit more difficult. You have to wing it. Over here, I've got two banners, and I'm going to use this left one to play a video on it. So, firstly, I have a model, two models over here, and basically, when you play it, Stewie bows to Ted. And I've exported this to a P, uh, to a JPEG sequence, which you can see over here. And um, if you have a movie file like an MP4 or something, I'm sure you can get an application to convert that to a, a PNG sequence or a JPEG sequence. Um, but for now, this is what you're going to use. Um, what I used was um, After Effects. Not for this. I only used Blender. So let me show you what to do. In Unity, first you have to go to your resource folder over here. If you don't have a resource folder, then you can make a new resource folder. Inside it, I'm going to make a new folder and call it Stewie. Stewie. And inside of this, I'm going to throw all my JPEG images inside of that. Alright, so once it's loaded, you have all of your JPEG images over here and you can go onto a mesh i'm going to uh, i'm going to play the movie on a mesh but you can also play it on a gui texture or whatever you want as long as this thing has a texture then you can then you can make a movie on it all right i'm going to add a component called stewie and um, i'm going to it's a c sharp script and i'm going to open it in mono develop so the first thing you need is a reference to the textures so private texture and it's an array I'm just gonna call it text then you also need a file name so private string uh, file and it's Stewie so I'm gonna initialize this text now text is resources dot load all because you're gonna load all of the textures texture that's how you cast it in C sharp and it receives a file reference a file stream so now you've initialized the texture so this will contain all of the textures in those those JPEG images basically so in your update function, you're gonna first say, oh, oh, you need a counter first. So private int counter. And this should start at zero. And over here I'm gonna say if the counter is less than text.length, which is the amount of all of those images. So this just prevents it from you know getting an error loading something that's not there the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna go to um, the renderer the skin mesh mesh renderer and access the the material and to do that you're gonna say renderer dot material dot main texture because it's the main texture that you want to change equals text counter but now you need to increment this so counter plus plus oh I did something wrong uh, this should be the slash should be on the other side sorry about that but it should work now there you go um, it's a bit fast at the moment and the reason for that is this video I rendered in 30 frames per second but the update function 
The update function usually works at 60 frames a second, at, at most, I think. Um, but it won't always be 60 frames a second, sometimes it will be less, well, maybe, if your computer lags. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 60 divided by 30, uh, 30 frames a second, and that will give you 2. And this number you're going to use to skip the frames, basically, because it, it loads too fast. So, you're going to add another number here. Um, I'm just going to call it skip frame. And it starts at 0. Then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say, if the skip frame is less than 1. And the reason it's less than 1 is... 2 minus 1. Just just remember, whatever this gives you, just minus it with 1. And then you get the amount that, that you need. And if it is less than 1, then skip frame should increment itself. Otherwise, skip frame should become 0 because it has to reset itself. So what skip frame basically does is it skips one frame. It doesn't um, change the texture every second frame. So this will make it go a bit slower. Let's, uh, let's see if it works. Uh, just to recap. Uh, you have your texture, you get a reference to all those textures because it's an array. You have your reference to the file and this loads all of those textures. And just remember that you need a skip frame if, if you want to control it like that. Otherwise, if you don't want the skip frame, then it will just render as fast as it can, which is sometimes not what you exactly want. The other thing is, remember if you, let's say for instance, you rendered your sequence in 24, 24 frames a second, then this answer, whatever it is, I'm too lazy to work that out right now, will be that answer minus 1. So if it's 2, then it will be 2 minus 1. If it's 1, then it will be 1 minus 1. So thank you for watching. If you've got time, please download Sam. It's a really cool game and it's free for now. It's um, We have a trial version online. And um, yeah, have a nice day. What if tutorials?